wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hello and welcome to Mark and Katie's trips, tips and things. Well I've gotta say, today's a dreary day, it's a cold day, but we are going for afternoon tea. Where you ask, we're going to the dilly. But before we start that, please don't forget you can catch us on our lives every Tuesday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. UK time. And do you know what? If you like unboxings, trips, tips, things, holidays, reviews, and you haven't subscribed, then please do. Let's go. there are two afternoon teas. One at the Medusa or Medusa and then the uh, high tea upstairs. So we're off to the second floor. Let's go. So here we are for the afternoon tea at Dilly's. Here is the menu. So you've got the afternoon tea, it's £49 per person. You can bump this up with champagne if you want for £65 per person, or rose champagne at £67 per person. So those are the sweets you've got there. Remember, this is London themed. So you've got the London Calling, the Chocolate O'Clock, which I think is a sort of ode to Big Ben, the Black Cab, and the Mind the Gap. So that looks nice, pistachio and raspberry filled macaron. You've got the scones, of course, and the sandwiches. And we've got a choice here of smoked salmon, traditional ham and cheddar, egg mayo, and roasted vegetables. We're gonna have a little look as well for the tea. We've got the tea selection, there we have it. So I won't go through all of them, but that's the choice of teas you can get here at Dilly's, at Piccadilly. They also have a vegetarian afternoon tea here, which is one I'm tempted to get. I did say I'm pescatarian, so uh, those are the options there for vegetarian afternoon tea. Right, now, as Kelly's smiling away, uh, what I wanted to show you as well, we are right on the balcony here. Now, there is a chance for you to sit outside. Of course, it is freezing cold on a march, and it's wet as well, so we obviously don't want to, but you can sit out there on a lovely sunny day. There is Waterstones, which is just opposite. So we are there right in Piccadilly, right in the heart. Uh, it's quite nice, isn't it? So this place is called The Terrace. Um, and like I said earlier, there are two afternoon teas. So we are um, having The Terrace afternoon tea. And I can't wait, I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we, are you a vegetarian? Oh, no, 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 I'm pescatarian, so yeah, I did just fish, fine. yeah. So um, here we have three afternoon teas. We have the normal one, which is 49, the classic champagne and the rosé. And here are the sweets, it's more than you did, and the scones and sandwiches, that's all included unless you want to change it. And then um, we have your teas, which is at the back, and that's really all you choose. Really okay. Intriguing. But if you want um, a different, if you don't want tea, you can get coffee. Okay, yeah. wonderful. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah, thank you, you very do much. Do you do hot chocolate? Yes, you can get a hot chocolate as well. Brilliant. Yes. Okay, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank, thank you. you. So 
so they're so efficient here. It's arrived. It looks amazing. But let's go for the drinks first. Let's try this hot chocolate. Tell me what you think. Is it good? It's good. It's a bit cold on the top, but to be fair, we've been filming yeah. and all of that, so I'm not being able to have it. But um, I noticed that it's on the kids' menu, so I think that's why it's like, do you know what I mean, a little size. But we can get some more. Now, we, they did say we can have more drinks. You can replace, or you can change your drink three times, apparently. Right. So, um, if we wanted to change to a tea or a coffee or something like that, you can do so. I think I'm going to get another hot chocolate. Um, I won't lie to you. Now, what I love about these, check out that mug. I've shown you a little oh, photo yeah. of it. It's all different places in London. So it's a London themed afternoon tea. Mm. Excellent, I really like it. So mine is the uh, Rosebud, which okay. I really like. Here we go. Mm. Liquid Turkish delight, I always say it. That's mm. really refreshing, really delicious. Um, How did it compare to some of the others that you've had? It was very similar, very, right. very similar. It's actually, I've just looked in the pot, it is actually fresh rosebuds in there. So it just tastes really nice. I think I poured mine a bit too quick, so I need right. to let, but I put some more in and it's a lot stronger. So yeah. that is really good. You just needed to let it brew a little bit. Oh, please, thank you. So, as for the desserts, we have the red letter box, which is a lemon and poppy seed cake, and then we have the big bread, which is a chocolate over caramel filling. Then we just have the plain chocolate bar with hand finished chocolate, and then we have the macro, which has raspberry and pistachio filling. And I'm just going to go through your sandwiches egg mayo, ham and cheese, salmon, and this is eggs. Then yours is egg mayo, a cucumber, guacamole, guacamole. and then um, uh, that cucumber and then this is like a roasted veg. All right, okay. And then as for your scones, you have plain and raisin with cream and raspberry filling. Fantastic, thank yes. you so much, thank you. Okay, egg mayo looks really good, very light, very good. It's quite cold as well, so this has been, uh, it's definitely fresh. It's nice. That bread is really nice and fluffy, it's so soft. That's really pleasant as well. As always, traditional sandwich, can't beat it. Okay, what's next? I'm gonna go for the roasted vegetable. There we are, that's the roast veg. Right. Or a little bit of greenery right there. Alright, let's try it. The bread is cold, like Mark says. It's quite thin. Let's have a look at the filling quickly. Now, I know some people don't like us doing this, but a slight deconstruct. Mm, there's a lot in there. Yeah. Some roast vegetables, okay, okay. Okay, let's give it a go. There's hummus in there as well. Oh, nice. It's really good hummus. Mm -hmm. The roasted veg is really good as well with the hummus. Yeah. I'll get this down. It's really nice. So Kelly's going for the uh, salmon one. The bread is light. Again, it's very cold. Um, it's got cucumber in it. Oh dear. Now, I know you don't like cucumber. So... So for those who don't like cucumber, like Madame. Yeah. I don't okay. remember it saying cucumber, but maybe I didn't look properly. Give it a try. Give it a try. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Out comes the cucumber. Nice. And the salmon is slightly smoked. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice sandwich, yeah. Right, so the next one I'm going to try is this one, which I'm not sure what it is. I think the bread looks fantastic. This is... Ah, peppers. This is roasted peppers. Ah. So again, very light. Mm. 
excuse me, those peppers are ever so thin. They are way for way for thin, they're so thin. So you get a very, very subtle taste of it. That's actually really, really good, I really like that. Um, not strong, not overpowering, lovely subtle taste, that's delicious. So next up is Kelly's Egg Mayo. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you inside. Now, as you guys might have seen, for the vegetarian one, I got this one too. So, uh, a deconstructed egg mayo as well. Yeah. So they're very... Egg and cress. Yeah, egg and cress. Yeah. That's really nice. The thing is, they're very delicate and very thin. Yes! Like, the layers are incredibly thin. Like other places that we've been to, it's quite packed. So I know like that it's thin, that's not, do you know what I mean? But I'm just not used to it being so thin. The egg mayo tastes really nice. I love the press with it. You don't always get press um, with egg mayo, but it's really nice. And the um, bread is fluffy and nice. We are going right. We are going full. Now this is guacamole. There we are. A nice little green sandwich here. What's interesting is I think this has got some type of nuts in the bread. It's got a lot of nuts in it, it's just one dropped off there. I think it might even be warmer, but I'm not sure. But here we are, let me try. Mm. It's got a very earthy taste to it. The nuts actually really enhance it. You've got the nuttiness, obviously, from the nuts. And you've got the guacamole in there, very thin layer of guacamole in there. That's really, really nice. That, I, I think that's my favourite sandwich so far. Wow. That's really nice. Last but not least for Kelly, we have, is this the ham and cheese? Yeah, I noticed that. Is that is it the bread or is it the filling? It's the actual bread, not the filling. I mean, ah, okay. the filling is the so, ham, cheese, and pickle. And again, I think this is that nutty bread that I have. That's it, ham, cheese, and pickle. Um, it's not nutty bread, it's oats. Ah, that's what it is. Oats okay. Oh. If you look at the bread. I mean, yeah. this one's slightly thicker, but I think this one's come to room temp. Maybe it's because it's come to room temperature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. But if you look at this bread, it's quite a bit thinner. So you've got the thicker of the sandwiches there. Mm. But uh, how's it taste-wise, ham and I know that's a classic. Do you know what? It's a classic. I really like it. It's not overpowering with the pickle. Because sometimes when you get ham cheese and pickle, it can be a little bit overpowering. But no, it's fine. It's lovely. Mm. Yeah. Can't beat a classic. Okay, last but not least is the one that Kelly dreads the most, and this is the cucumber. Very thin layers of cucumber in here, and that's kind of good. Mm. This one, I actually think might not mind, only because it's a very, very, very thin layer of cucumber, ever such a thin layer of cucumber in there. And as you can see, it's a very thin sandwich. And because of that, it is quite light as well. Um, it's nice. I thought maybe a little bit thick, thicker chunks maybe, but I did do enjoy that. That's really Can nice. you taste the coconut? Oh, is there coconut in there? Yeah, it's coconut and cucumber. No, I can't. I'll let you try it, but okay. I can't. Okay, so I'm going to try it and see if I can taste the coconut. So. taste of coconut at all. Yeah. I did wonder if there was coconut in there. No, it's thin layer of um, cream cheese, thin yeah. layer of um, cucumber. It's still pleasant. Well, I know it's probably not your thing. But Do you know what? It's better than a lot of cucumbers I've tasted. Yeah, because it's a thin. Um, <laughs> it's very thin. But sometimes cucumber can be really overpowering. Um, but yeah, I can't taste any cucumber. Okay, so we just asked about um, pension sandwiches, and you can do, but at an extra cost of £13 per person. So if you do want more sandwiches, it's £13 per person.
we've got the um, the fruit stop. Now you thought there was cherries in here, didn't you? It looked like cranberries or cherries. Like if you look, it's more red mm. um, than if it was currant. So let me just show you quickly this one. So you can see these look like currants. Yeah, right there. but you think yours is, we think, we're not sure, we think yeah. yours is currants, right, okay. No, not currants. Uh, right, like cranberries. cranberries or something. So, yeah, anyway, bottoms up. Right, so we've got the... Good. A nice, it's crumbly. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, really good. It's a good... Like it. Okay, so Mark is having the plain one. Yeah, the plain one. Mm. It's really nice. It's what I would call more a traditional one. It's a lot. Mm. So it's not really, really soft. It's but it's really nice. Yeah. It's softish, but it's got this bit more of a baked feel to it. It's it, got it, like it's crisp. Mm, crisp. That's yeah, a better word. Crisp. That's a better word. Now, while you're there, stay there. I ordered oh, a different tea, which is the that? mango. It's, it's like squash, isn't it? It's yeah. really yellow. Oh wow, that's really good. Now that's the mango mocktail. That's the mango mocktail. It's delicious. That's um, it's almost like a juice. It's a, it's is really it better good. than the rosebud? Oh, yeah. This is, I've always gone for the rosebud, but that is really good. Wow. wow Only because wow. that's so good. Wow. I'm gonna try it. it. Smells amazing. So Kelly's doing my mango tea. What do you think? It's nice, but it's not strong. Like you could, the flavour is there. It's nice. It's not like overpowering. Mm. I like it. It's nice. Which one are you going for? I am going to go for the black. So you're going for the black cat, which is this one, obviously facing me. Yeah. yeah. Give it a try. Mm. There's a lot of thought going on here. What's going on? So it's like a chocolate shortbread biscuit. Yeah. Ah, okay. I always find uh, having a biscuit for afternoon tea slightly strange. I know we've had several places that do it, but what's your thing of it? How do you feel? It's got like a dark chocolate. It's a, there's a um, white chocolate. I mean, it's okay. No, you're not enamored to it. I feel like there's nothing um, special about it. You know, you want there to be like a ooh, ah oh, moment, and it's not—it's a biscuit with icing on it or, or chocolate icing on it. Okay, now I'm more into the biscuit, so I'll, I'll see what I think as well. But I, we'll move on to the next cake. But okay, mixed review for that one. Well, I like that. Yeah. I'm different to Kelly. Yeah. Okay, she's right. Chocolate biscuit with thing on top. It's pleasant. Um, it's like, to me, it's like a shortbread, like a chocolate shortbread. It's, yeah. It's, do you know what, it's a bit like the top of a chocolate bourbon. Tell them what you're drinking. Cappuccino. I've gone for my, this is, this is my third and final one. Yeah. I'm having that with my biscuit. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to try the macaron. So there's it from my side. You've got the nice un London Underground logo on it. Uh, I don't know if that looks like some kind of vanilla, no, not vanilla, toffee in there. It's yeah, very chunky. Yeah, okay, very chunky. give that a try. Oh, it's got jam in it, yes. How is it? Mm. What's the taste? Describe the taste. Is it toffee? Is it? I don't know what it is. There's some type of like, maybe 
maybe caramel cream of some sort, a little bit of jam. That macaroni is really good. It's crisp and then it's chewy. You, you it's lost, your, nice. lost, lost your logo. I lost my logo. Um, but it's really, really nice. That almondy taste, that it's got sugar top on there, it's very nice. Right, I'm going for, on Kelly's side, which is here, the phone box. I'm going for this to my phone. Now, I really do like that. That is so cool. Look at the door. And, I have to say, it doesn't oh, matter, but I just like the way it looks <laughs> Okay, here we go. No idea what this is about. It's a shame to destroy it. Oh, it's a moose. Can you see that? actually a mousse and it's got if you can just see a little bit of um, sponge in the middle oh. so let me try that. Mm. I don't know why I thought that'd be quite sickly sweet but it's that's delicious it's a very is it lemon it's almost like a very tart lemon. I'm not sure Kelly would like it. It's quite sharp, but it's a delicious lemon mousse yeah. with a lemon sponge. That is really nice. I remember when she was saying at the beginning that it was lemon. It's really, really good. Ashfa, that's a fantastic cake. One of the nicest ones I've had in a while. Wow. I really like that. Wow, 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 wow. Mm. Okay, so this is the last one. This looks far, far, far too good to actually eat. Look at that, the, the intricate design on that. I know. Absolutely phenomenal. I think it's really, really good. There we go. Okay. Sorry, Tower. Oh, I just had a little bit of a chocolate. Milk chocolate. But it's also got a streak, you can't really see it. There's a huge streak of caramel in that. Oh wow. There's chocolate and caramel. Mm. That's really good. These are really nice cakes. So I've gone for English breakfast and I just had a look inside and it's all fresh leaves. Ooh. Oh, Mark's gonna open it. Yeah, so you can see it's all fresh leaves. Can't wait to try it. Also what I like is they have individually wrapped. Um, sugar cubes. I'm not sure it's great for the environment because of the plastic, but I like that it's individually wrapped. Are done and we have finished the delicious afternoon tea. What did you think? I thought it was really good. There were a couple of bugbears that I had, uh. um, and one of them being that you couldn't replenish at least once, and if you did, you had to pay £13 per person. That's just for the sandwiches as well. That's just for sandwiches. All right, yeah. but that's starting off with a negative. Let's start off with some positives as well. What did you think of the drinks? Um, I liked the drinks. I liked that you could have a choice of three uh, changes per person. Yeah. So that was quite good. Um, I liked the fact that they did hot chocolate, so I could have hot chocolate if I wanted to. And the um, English breakfast tea was really good as well. Sandwiches? Sandwiches I enjoyed. However, the other bugbear um, was that there wasn't enough filling. It was too thin. Well, Ashfa, I've got to say, I so for me, the drinks I really enjoyed. I yeah. did enjoy the uh, that mango was delicious. Mango mocktail. Uh, mango mocktail was fantastic, and the coffee was really nice as well. So they were good drinks. Yeah. For me, I agree with Kelly with the sandwiches. They were really nice. They were really fresh and delicious, but they were on tad on the thin side. Mm. I thought they could have been a little bit padded out more, especially yeah. if you can't get refills. Um, right. As always, next up, the scones. I liked the scones. I thought they were really good. Um, yeah, our scones go crisp on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. well baked. 
Um, yeah, I liked them, but I don't like plain scones, so I left you to I had all the plain scones, so I did have quite a few of those because Kenny only had one, so I had the remaining three, but they were nice. As, as you say, they, they were what I would call traditional scones in the sense that they were quite crisp. The yeah. ones we've had as well that are fluffy, you don't tend to find always. I mean, yeah. maybe that's just from me and my experience, but really nice, went well with the jam and cream as they yeah. always do. And let's finish up on the cakes. What did you think? Mm. Um, I mean, a biscuit is a biscuit, so I'm not sure if I would class that as a as a afternoon tea. Sweet. Yeah, I'm I'm always a bit skeptical about having a biscuit for um, afternoon tea, but I, I enjoyed it. You weren't so enamoured with it. It was okay. Um, I didn't much like the phone box. Do you know what though? The presentation was impressive. So I love the fact of the London theme, which was the black taxi. I love the, how they represented the tube. I love how they did the phone box and the Big Ben was the most impressive, I have yeah. to say. Oh, yeah, I mean, I love the, like I said, the theatre of it, the actual presentation the was really good. really, really now, good. I differ to Kelly because the foam box for me was my favourite cake there. It was really sharp, that lemon, and it went really well. Now, I know that's what you did not no. like, but I really liked it. It gave a really, really sharp, fresh taste to it. I loved that one as well. Oh, sorry, I missed camera there a little my bit. My eyes are watering as well. Um, yeah, but the... Uh, the Big Ben, I thought was nice yeah, as well. Yeah, I thought chocolate the and caramel. was nice. I think my favourites were the macaron. That macaron was crispy, it was mm. chewy. The sugar on it lent itself to the macaron. And the, um, I don't know what cream it was, or what type of creme. It was or like or a, it was a toffee, creme toffee or almost. Like, but what was nice about it was it had, as Kelly said, it had the raspberry jam in the middle. That gave it a really nice sort of sharp edge yeah. to it. Uh, all of those went really well with tea. And actually, I've got to say, they're some of the nicest cakes I've had uh, in an afternoon tea. I, I keep saying that now every time we go yeah. for them. Uh, uh, they're not my nicest cakes for sure, by far. They're not, the, 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 but they, they, were good. they were good. I think um, the, and, and the staff there were really nice. The staff were excellent. So our server, we should have asked their name. So yeah. uh, if you're watching, thank you so much. You were absolutely brilliant. You really, yeah. really were. We were so attentive. So the staff there are really good. Yeah. Um, um, I liked the, um, uh, the terrace where it was. That was really now we went um, when it was Les, Mid Les Meridian before, yeah. and uh, they had that terrace bit, and it was lovely, and it's still nice today. And on a summer's day, whoa, that would be really nice, yeah. No, just on the opposite of that, of course, we are early March here, so it's still very, very cold. So it is cold in there, just uh, not freezing, but it's yeah. slightly nippy, so you might want to have a jumper or something while you're in there. Yeah, and we were the first up, so we, so when we got there, there are two, so there's another place that were doing afternoon tea, hmm. and then there was this place that was doing afternoon tea, and this was the place. Um, and when you first got in, it is quite cold, um, because we're just getting in. Obviously, as it fills up, it gets a little bit yeah. warmer, yeah. you know. Um, but like I said, the servers were nice. We were the first ones there, and we were able to fill um, the the space without interrupting anybody else, um, which was also good. So my uh, tip, as always, if you're doing an afternoon tea or you're going to a restaurant or anything like that, and it is the case that you want to film or you just want a bit of quiet time, try to get the earliest slot available. Yes, exactly. Now the burning question: Would you go again? Oh. I would go again, but to do something else, not for the afternoon tea. No, I would go again for the afternoon tea. I think for a hundred pounds, so fifty pounds per person, it was good. I, I was hoping you could get at least one refill for that. I thought they could have done. Um, and that, that, sorry, after service charge, what was it? One hundred and ten or something. You'll see that on the bill. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I. I think just maybe a little bit more, I thought they could have gone for that price. That's why I wouldn't go again um, to that specific afternoon tea, purely because for £100 I would expect to replenish at least once on the sandwiches. Um, and the sandwiches were very thin, there, there wasn't um, enough filling in there, I felt, for the price. Um, so I think that if I was to go again, it would be because they refilled and a little bit more on the filling. 
there you have it. So anyway, that's our review of the Dilly's afternoon tea. Uh, as always, please in like... Piccadilly. In yeah. Piccadilly. In Piccadilly. Uh, as always, please like, share and subscribe this video. As you know, we love making videos for you guys. And don't forget, we do our live chat every Tuesday and every Friday, 6.30 UK time, where you can talk about anything you like, including the video you've seen today. And if you like reviews, unboxings, trips, tips and things, and you haven't subscribed, please do. Until then, take care, and don't forget, you're never too old to have fun. Bye for now.